Let's still talk about the worsening economic crisis in Sri Lanka. And our correspondent, Dasuni Athauda, spoke to Iran Wikra Maratne, who is the former finance minister of Sri Lanka. Listen in to what he had to say. Do you really think that uh, the people's loss of confidence uh, will be shown through in parliament uh, with the possible uh, no confidence motion that is to be put forward by a party? I think a, a, a no confidence motion is just only one of the actions in the right direction. But it has to go way beyond that. For example, right, we have to uh, get another amendment, which is abolishing the 20th Amendment, getting some of the features of the 19th Amendment, going beyond the 19th Amendment. So it's a 19 plus amendment, right? Has to be brought into par Parliament and, and that will deal with the executive presidency. But there's a lot more that needs to be done, right? And, and as I uh, suggested to you, right, uh, anti-corruption legislation needs to be brought. Protests have been going on for days, if not weeks, across Sri Lanka and especially outside the presidential secretariat as well. And the message is quite clear. They want the president to step down. The opposition also in parliament continuously has been repeating calls for the president to step down. Nevertheless, he has reiterated on multiple occasions that he won't be stepping down. So where is this bottleneck? The nation wants the president to step down. The opposition wants the president to step down, but he is not willing to. So where do we see this sort of coming into a balance or a compromise for the sake of the people? So uh, uh, ultimately, right, it is the public who will have to decide, right? And uh, it, will, it will be very difficult to govern the country given this situation. So we in parliament, Right, who, who represent the struggles of the people. We are trying to convert those struggles, the peaceful struggles that people are having, that the protests have been extremely peaceful, into uh, basically uh, parliamentary, democratic, constitutional revolution. So if the present rulers don't understand that, it could get ugly, and we must not let that happen. Right? And if, if it gets ugly in any way, right, the conversations that are going on, even in Washington at this moment, will all be jeopardized. Uh, I still believe right, that uh, people understand the democratic norms, right, and even those who are presently governing, and that uh, they will uh, listen to the voice of the people. And those of us in parliament are providing a democratic constitutional way in which to make the changes. And I, I hope that it will succeed. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.